16th, 2020, 41 and a half pounds down. All right, let's do this. Let's make something happen today. Let's talk about something called exposing the narrative. Everybody seems to think what everybody else is thinking, right? And then it gets us in a whole bunch of arguments. Exposing the narrative will take an argument that lasts several days because pride won't let something go. Especially pride with misinformation won't let something go. Exposing that narrative will take that argument that never seems to end, that tension in the room that never seems to be cut, and it'll take it down to a few short seconds. This is gold, y'all. Gold. I'm going to give you an example, and it's stupid, but it's real. Saturday, I'm taking a little nappy naps because I can I just go and hit the pillow and boom, I'm gone. Of course, the snorkel helps. If you don't have a CPAP, get one. You might not have sleep apnea. Who cares? You're asleep in 30 seconds. It's amazing. Sometimes when we argue, my wife just puts the CPAP on me like, shut up. And I'm like, no, you can't make me. And I'm out. My family, we use something called the divorce app. Other people know it as Life360. This alerts you when people leave your home or coming towards your home or whoever the members are in, it, in your family circle. You pretty much know where they are at all times. As long as they keep their data on, you little, mm, somehow we lost track of our children. What happened? Oh, I accidentally turned off the data. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm napping. And the Life360 app goes off and it says, my wife and child have left. Where did they go? I thought my wife wanted to take a nap, but she's gone. Okay. She must be mad at me because she can't take a nap. It takes her hours to try to fall asleep. <sighs> now she's mad. She's mad because I can take a nap at will. Great. So I get up. I don't know where they went. Why didn't they tell me? It's not like, Yo, you can't go anywhere unless I know. You are my wife and child. You have to stay here unless I know. It's not that. It's just, she was supposed to be mad. But now she's not. <sighs> she's mad. I bet you she's mad. Great. So I get up and I start cleaning the house because that's what I do when I get mad. And I think my wife knows it. I think she does. She's like, the house is dirty. I don't want to do it. Let's make that big fella mad. He'll clean it in a minute. I get done cleaning the house. I start meal prepping. Cooking up all the stuff in the fridge so we have it for the week. But I'm doing it with a bad attitude. Meanwhile, just thinking about all this stuff, it's wrong. Why is she mad at me? I can't enjoy a nap or whatever. Again, like I said, stupid. Stupid mind process going on. She finally gets home and she is in an amazing mood and I am not. She's like, wow, this is awesome. I thought you were taking a nap. Really? You thought I was taking a nap? Okay. All right. Okay. This is where the argument has the probability of lasting a very long time. I could just go, whatever, or here's my favorite, fine. That's what you talk, fine. Here's where exposing the narrative squashes everything. I'm gonna expose the narrative so that you know what I'm thinking. And she goes, yeah, sure. I said, I was asleep and the Life360 app popped off that you all left. And that tone wakes me up no matter what time of day it is. Because, you know, the children are missing. And she's like, oh, no. I said, yeah, I thought you were mad because I could take a nap. But you always seem to get upset that you can't. So I figured you were upset with me. 
And I thought that was silly that you'd be upset with me about that. But I didn't want to call you and have an argument over the phone, so I just stayed around till you came back, but you never did. It took quite a while while you were gone. But that's the narrative that I'm exposing so that you can tell me how far off I am or how spot on I am. And she goes, I am so sorry. I thought you were asleep and I didn't want to wake you. Our son came down and said, hey, I want to go get this game. Could you drive me to the store? This is a very stupid example of something that happens every day in every relationship and they're dumb, 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 dumb arguments. I bring this up because many times I will see posts on the support forums that say, my husband did this and it has upset me. He said this about my weight loss or he brought this food home or whatever. And the majority of the comments are absolutely wretched. One said to cut off something that he shouldn't have cut off. I'm like, for Pete's sakes, man. These people are married. Maybe they need to expose the narrative. I'm telling y'all, if you don't ever do that, there's a whole bunch of arguments and a whole bunch of lost time that is had between relationships. Think about all the times that, that people argue in relationships and don't talk about what's really going on. They don't expose the narrative because they're afraid of, I don't know, how far the argument's gonna go or if they're wrong. Exposing the narrative and trusting that the partner in the relationship understands what that means. Exposing the narrative says, hey, here's what I'm thinking, please don't kill me. Just tell me how far off I'm at from this idea or if I'm spot on and let's talk through it. Versus the words like fine or you know what you did, you know, and it, it's this whole guessing game. It takes the guessing right out of it. So think about that. The argument as stupid as it was could have lasted for days because, oh, she's mad about this and, and we're not talking about it. Or, or it's gone in 60 seconds because we exposed the narrative. I hope this helps someone out there. Thank you for all the support. I gotta go swim. See y'all later. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified anytime a new video pops up. I appreciate all the help. Thanks.